Hello and welcome to another episode of Death Metal Theory. The last episode, well, it's actually been quite some weeks, but I uh, showed you how the Aeolian minor scale or the natural minor scale can be used or is actually built and can be used to make death metal. And today I want to show you how the Phrygian scale is used. So, first of all, let me show you the Phrygian scale. As you can see, it only differs from the natural minor scale in exactly one note, which is the F. So, with natural minor we have E, F sharp, G, and with Phrygian we have E, F, G. So a root note E is followed up by just a half step to the F, and basically every F sharp from the natural minor or the Aeolian is exchanged for the F, so it goes one half step down. This is actually good because we have on our second step show the F chord, the power chord, actually consists of all the notes that are in E region, which is F and C. Whereas with natural minor, the F sharp power chord consists of F sharp and C sharp, and C sharp isn't in the key of E Aeolian. So that was kind of tricky. However, we also have some trickiness here because the B power chord, this consists of B and F sharp. So F sharp isn't really in the key of E Phrygian. However, you can play the B power chord if you want to. Um, it will sound fine, it will still sound Phrygian. Um, or you could play the B diminished chord, which would be B, F, B, and it sounds like this. It's really mean sounding. So, you can use this as well, basically. So, the big difference the, from the Aeolian scale is that the E Phrygian scale sounds a bit more minor, a bit sadder than the Aeolian scale. Uh, you could basically say that Phrygian is uh, minor but for adults, so it's sadder, of course, and uh, you can easily make some great emotions with this because of this half step at the beginning. And that's kind of cool. So, how do I use the Phrygian scale? Well, first of all, I use it for power chords. So, my chord changes might be centered around E in this particular instance, although on the seventh string it's B. And I play just some basic riffs in um, E Phrygian. <laughs> Or you could also play uh, some single note riffs with uh, Phrygian as well. For a little comparison, here is the same riff but in E Aeolian, so with the F sharp instead of the F. At least it was kinda the same riff. Sorry, I can't remember all the riffs that I play. So another good way to use it would be in harmonizing. Um, for instance, the F uh, can let you use the D power chord 
and when you play an F above it, it's a D minor, and uh, in Aeolian it would be D major, so this sounds rather cool. Uh, a little example here. And again, the same example in E Aeolian. Kind of the same. So this was, uh, it sounded a bit happier and in E Phrygian it was really, really sad. So this is cool. Uh, of course, you can easily uh, switch or modulate uh, the two scales. So, for instance, one riff could be in E Aeolian and the other riff could be in E Phrygian. Uh, this works as well. So you don't have to stay in the same tonality in each song. And those two scales are easily to modulate because they just differ in one note. And you don't even have to use some awkward transitions. Uh, you can basically just write the first riff in this scale and the second riff in this scale. Most of the time it sounds good. So let me try this. Let me play a single note riff in e Aeolian because I tend to prefer single note riffs in Aeolian and then I'll play a chord riff in E Phrygian and well while I come up with them Let's find out if they work together. So I think while it's not the most original riffs uh, by any means, but uh, you actually did you hear that I changed uh, scales? I couldn't hear it. And uh, well, that's really cool to spice it up. Maybe um, if you want to write with a particular scale in mind and you are stuck or think, oh, ah, I can't combine those notes, uh, just try it out. However, little disclaimer here. Um, I tend to do whatever I want uh, regardless of scales and when it sounds good it is good but um, to actually know those tricks so to know what's the Phrygian scale what's the Aeolian scale uh, this helps me to uh, well work my way around when I have writer's blockade or so I just give myself a task do this in this scale for instance and then, well, it actually helps me to write riffs and whatever helps you to write riffs is good. So that's it for this quick tutorial on the Phrygian scale, what it is, how it actually sounds and how to use it. I hope this was useful. This is by no means a professional tutorial or whatever, just a quick overview uh, how I personally use it. And now let me know down in the comments, uh, do you know the Phrygian scale or are you aware of the Phrygian scale at all? And um, what other scales do you want me to show in this little series? Just leave a comment. Oh, and if you want to support this channel, uh, check out the links in the description. And with this said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. May the force be with you and have a nice day.